So this video is going to be about congenital adrenal hyperplasia. And first off, I'm going to tell my story and how I got my diagnosis. And then I will go more in depth about what it, what it really is. So when I was around seven or eight, I just wasn't feeling very good quite often. And my mom started noticing that I was developing and going through puberty at a much faster rate than my peers. So she took me to the doctors and they did a lot of blood work and everything came back fine. And then one day my doctor just checked one more box and said, okay, we have an appointment for a specialist. And the specialist was an endocrinologist. And after some more testing and some more blood work, I was diagnosed with congenital adrenal hyperplasia. And basically, what congenital adrenal hyperplasia is, is your adrenal glands do not produce enough cortisol. And if you don't have enough cortisol, basically, you get really sick and it can become potentially fatal. So your adrenal glands and whatnot, there's adosterone, no, and correct me if I'm wrong, and testosterone. And my body was making a lot more testosterone, which can cause um, a deeper voice and sometimes facial hair and just a bunch of, you know, symptoms and whatnot. But my problem was I was going through puberty at the age of 7 when it should be around the age of 12. So we were able to hold off getting my period until I was about 10 with medications and whatnot. And pretty well I've been on treatment ever since, but then I decided to stop treatment when I was... 13, which wasn't very good because I thought I was fine, and then I started getting really sick again when I was about 18, and then I went back to the doctors, and I really wasn't doing so hot, so I had to go back on pretty well cortisol treatment, which in my case was prednisone because the Cortef was wiping out my immune system completely. And people with congenital adrenal hyperplasia, to begin with, don't really have an immune system, so it's hard for us to fight infections and flus and just any kind of bug that's going around. So back in December, I ended up going into adrenal crisis, which can become fatal and I became very dehydrated, I was vomiting, I couldn't keep down food or medications, but originally I went into the hospital for severe abdominal pain, and then that's when we found out that um, I was going into adrenal crisis as well. So I've been on treatment ever since, and it's being more controlled, but that doesn't mean it's easy. So I'll get more in depth about what congenital adrenal hyperplasia actually is. I, I have my notes written down, so, you know. Basically, symptoms of an adrenal crisis would include dehydration, vomiting, uh, low blood sugar, and just a bunch of stuff like that and it's not comfortable at all and enjoy my beautiful picture here so you have your kidneys right there and then right on top of them there are these little walnut shaped glands and that's what your adrenal glands are they're little walnut shaped glands on top of your kidneys so they produce hormones and cortisol and stuff that you need to survive basically and long-term effect from going into adrenal crisis could 
Um, basically, it's infertility as well as death, which is kind of scary being only 20 and they tell you that you can potentially die just from going into adrenal crisis and adrenal crisis can happen from between a minute to 15 minutes so it's quite quick and can be quite dangerous so when I go into adrenal crisis I have to go to the hospital and they have to give me um, correct me if I'm wrong, hydrocortef through an IV drip every six hours until I can orally consume the medications again without vomiting them up and you know just get my spunk back and whatnot. And whenever I go under anesthetic I just found this out recently that I'm supposed to be given hydrocortisol when I'm put under because my body's under a lot of stress and if I break a bone or do anything like that that can be also life-threatening as well because my body is in stress and stress causes adrenal crises in some cases so basically you need cortisol to live and my adrenal glands don't produce cortisol. Um, in my next video I'm going to show you what's in my emergency kit and what to do when you or someone you know who has congenital adrenal hyperplasia goes into an adrenal crisis and that's about it. Okay well thank you for watching this video and I'll post another one about my emergency kit.